All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perimeter of a semicircle. And we're going to begin by talking about a full circle. All right, and you got to remember that the formula for a circle is pi times d. Pi is either 3.14 or pi is 3 and 1 seventh. And then d always stands for the diameter. And in this case, the diameter is right here. Here's the diameter. Uh, let's suppose... Uh, Let's suppose this diameter is uh, 14 centimeters, and we are going to find uh, the perimeter using uh, pi as 3 and 1 seventh. So we'll just do that just to be different instead of using 3.14, because everybody uses 3.14. All right, so if we're going to find the circumference of this circle, we would begin by doing c is equal to 3 and 1 seventh times 14. c is equal to... 22 sevenths, change that to an improper fraction, times 14 over 1, changing that to an improper fraction. I see that 14 and 7 can cross cancel, so the 14 becomes a 2, 7 becomes a 1, and we get C is equal to 44 centimeters. Okay, now, if that's the formula, and this is how you would do it for a complete circle, what would you do for a semi-circle? A semi-circle looks like this. Wah! All right, there's a semi circle. Now, if all you were to do was to take this 44 and divide by 2, you'd be close. 44 divided by 2 is 22. But what is 22? Well, 22 would be just this orange part, this curvy part. And a semicircle actually looks like this. So the 22 would be only for the curvy part. And if we want the complete perimeter of the semicircle, not only would we have the 22 for this curvy part, but we'd also have to add in the 14 for the straight part. So we would do the 22, and then we would add the 14, which is the diameter, and we would get the complete answer, the, the perimeter, which is 36 centimeters. So if we were to kind of wrap this up, what did we do? Well, we took the formula. So here's the formula for the perimeter. What did we do? Well, we took the formula for the circumference of a circle, but then we divided it by 2 because we didn't want the complete circle. We only wanted half the circle. And then we had to add in the diameter because we can't forget this part, this orange part right here. The divide by 2 part, this only gives us the curvy, so then we have to add in the D, which gives us the straight line right here. So here is the nice tidy little formula if you're interested. Pi times D, that gives you the circumference. Divide by 2, that gives you half. And then add in the D, which gives you the complete perimeter.